A crowd of well over 100 supporters, community and business leaders, as well as party officials, packed into the new Patchogue campaign headquarters of Lee Zeldin, Republican candidate for New York State Senate's 3rd District. Lee, a principled conservative, was there to launch his campaign to unseat current State Senator Brian Foley, who since being elected in 2008 has failed to live up to his campaign promises and instead voted to raise property taxes and impose new fees and tax burdens on Long Island residents in his district. Senate Minority Leader Dean Skelos was on hand at the event and introduced Lee to the crowd. One young man is not going to be afraid when he goes to Albany to stand up and say what's right and what's in the best interest of the individuals of this senatorial district. Our good friend Lee Zeldin. There are a lot of people in this room that are products of Long Island schools. There are a lot of people in this room that are going to Long Island schools. There are many of us that are raising young boys and girls that soon one day will be going to Long Island schools. Well, what about the fact that Long Island's share of new school aid this past year dropped by over 62%? So whether we're talking about the payroll tax or the stall rebate check, or new regulations and license fees on fishermen, or the slash to new school aid for Long Island, or more. And more. The person I'm running against was the deciding vote on all of that. And when we elect people to office, I'd rather know where I disagree with them than have no idea where they stand on anything. And we're electing people to office that, that, that on day one, are, are showing us their, their fancy pop cards or their website and saying this is who I am and on day two there's someone totally different. And if anyone in here asks me where I stand on an important issue, I'll tell you. I'm not afraid to tell you where I stand on controversial issues. You want to know where I stand on the Second Amendment? I'm pro-gun and I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> We need to be electing people that we know where they stand on controversial issues, not just the easy ones. Well, I'll tell you what, for the record, I would have voted against the payroll tax. There would not have been a 30-second vote. And the businesses, the schools, the hospitals, the non-for-profits, and more, all of them would not be getting crushed by this payroll tax. The star rebate check, all those seniors that are getting burned by it, all the young families like mine that could have used that check at the end of October, they would have been getting it this year if I was in Albany this past, this past session instead of Brian Foley. Fishermen would not have to be getting licenses in order to go fish. Our school children wouldn't see slashes to their new school aid. We have a chance right now, and there's so much at stake. After 2010, there's going to be redistricting. And if we don't win this seat now, we're not going to get this seat back. If we don't win this seat now, we're not going to be getting control of our New York State Senate for years and decades to come. This is an opportunity that comes around just once. And if we don't take advantage of it, if we don't seize this moment, if we don't tell all of our friends and our neighbors, strangers, colleagues at work, what the, what the Zeldin for Senate campaign is about, what Brian Foley has done as he performed in New York State Senate. What his leadership has done, all based in New York City. David Patterson, Shelley Silver, Pedro Espada, Malcolm Smith, John Sampson, all from New York City, and they're all burning us. How can I criticize the Democrats to control Congress for out of control spending and their ethics problems? Without criticizing the Republicans for their out of control spending and their ethics problems. Now I have a challenge because I believe in Dean Skelos. I'm not going to be standing up to him every day of this campaign because he's doing good. And you know what? If he was in charge of the New York State Senate, the Republicans were in charge, all the stuff that we're talking about this morning, we would have to come up with a totally different thing to talk about. <laughs> because all this stuff, we're getting burnt now. And when I was running for Congress, we are talking about issues affecting our children 20, 30 years from now. This is stuff affecting us today. Everyone in here should have gotten their star rebate checks. They should have had to pay the payroll taxes. Chairman Walsh, 
The chairman of the Suffolk County Conservative Party had the, the, the Conservative Party had great success all across Suffolk County in so many races. Take legislator Todd Meritorious race, for example. We get about 13 percent. 13.3. 13.3 percent. The Suffolk County Conservative Party understands this mission. They understand the importance of it, and it means a lot. Not, not to have the, the, the party here this morning, but to have Ed Walsh here this morning. Believe in me. Stephen Flanagan, the Conservative Society for Action. Bob Meyer from, from the 912 Project in Suffolk County. All the, the, if, if there's any campaign for liberty folks out here, I know we extend a special invite to you. All the people that are dedicating so much time, that are leaving here to go into the city. And are probably doing, tomorrow doing a literature drop all over the place. Thank you. Thank you for being here today, and, and over the course of the next year, a, a, a thank you in advance for all the support I know that I'll be getting from you, and, and will be getting from you. Now I look around the room, and, and, and there, are some, there are some phenomenal people here, some great leaders in the Suffolk County Republican Party, and two of them are with, with an eye shot right now. My, my, my own chairman, Jesse Garcia. The great leader from the town of Islip, Frank Santone. This district is split. It's half in Brookhaven and half in Islip. And there is no way at all that we are winning this race without the full support of not just the, the Brookhaven Town Republican Party, but the full support of the great committee in the town of Islip. I see former staffers from, from Cesar Trunzo's campaigns, and he served for decades, and he did so much, left so much of an impact on this district. So I look at Chris, Francine, Mike, and any others that are here that, that spent, so I know you left your blood, your sweat, your tears, all over the third senatorial district. And to you, to, to you know, Sean Huff, who gave us this, uh, this great location. To L.W. Murphy, where's L.W.? <laughs> L.W. Murphy, he was, th th this event was, was going to be all his. He was taking the lead. And at the beginning of this week, he lost his mother. And it was sudden. And he went down to Florida. And this weekend, He's making arrangements to, to, to bury his mother at the beginning of the week for a week. And with everything else that's going on, with everything else that's going on, you're here today. Maybe amongst everyone, it's the most important to have you all here. to the Francines and the Chris's and, and, and the Michael, <laughs> to, to the LW's, <coughs> to the party leaders that are here and everyone else, the family and the friends. Okay. <laughs> everyone that's here, I'm going to tell you something very important. It's a secret. I don't think Brian will be And I hope I can count on every one of you to leave us here in the room. <laughs> and don't say anything to Brian Foley until we're ready to tell him. <laughs> He's lose his seat. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take it from him, and it starts today. So thank you, everyone, for coming out, for all your support. And I'll tell you something, please, please, come into the back, watch the new video. We have a six-minute video biography, the 90-second spot pool, I believe, our great new website. Sign up for volunteer. Donate if you can. Throw a fundraiser to help us get our message out. Whatever you are capable of doing, and thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I meant it when I said honored and humbled at the beginning of the speech. God bless and good luck to all of us.